Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. So today, very exciting video. Lisa Eldridge came out with her new eyeshadow palettes. Um, there's five color stories in total. They're refillable. Um, you can buy all the shades as singles, but I picked up Sorcery, which is this sort of like magical green story with some blue in there. And then I also got Vega, which is more of like sort of my everyday type of deal here. <laughs> um, it was really tempting to get all of them, but you know, um, I may pick up more. I don't know. We're going to see. I mean, I actually know. I, I definitely know <laughs> that I'm going to get more, but for now, this will do. Um, and also, she launched a new limited edition, I believe, uh, pouch in the shade uh, Pompadour, which is uh, one of the new shades of her lipsticks, which I didn't get yet, but I'm thinking I want to get them, you know, next time around. Um, I already have my base on. I'm actually wearing the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation in shade number two. I like this foundation. I don't use it very often just because it's more matte on the matte side, and I have super dry skin, so... Um, I tend to lean more towards like natural finish and more dewier, but um, it's a really good matte foundation. What's key with this one um, is to just work in sections because it does dry down quite quickly and you don't want to be left with any like patches or anything. And it's buildable too, so you can like do a little bit, go back to the section, finish it off, that kind of thing, but yeah. Good, good foundation. And then for concealer, I'm using one of my faves, the Rose Ink. Um, this is in the shade LX10. I think mine <laughs> has gone bad. I'm so sad because when I was, uh, you know, swiping it on my hand or whatever, it was a little separated. <laughs> so I just kind of like swirled it together and it's fine. I feel like it looks fine. But yeah, sad, sad. Um, I powdered with the Pat McGrath under eye powder. Did some contouring with the uh, Nudegasm face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And um, I also did some sculpting with the new shade and illuminate from Tom Ford in intensity 0.5. I'll go more in depth, have a more in depth review of this soon um, because I have another, I got the velour khaki quad. So we'll kind of do that together in a future video, but yeah. So for today, I think I'm gonna be dipping into both palettes. I'll probably keep it more on the bluey side. Um, I know a lot of people have been doing some really pretty green looks, but I feel like I have that velour khaki quad to review too, so we'll save green <laughs> for another day. Um, I will swatch all the shades, of course, and I want to do a lot of comparisons with the blue in here because I, I'm really, you know, picky about my blues. <laughs> I'm going to swatch it next to a bunch of other similar blues that I have, and, you know, we'll see how it compares. So I have worn this one on the eyes. I've kind of swatched some of these on the eyes as well, but for the most part, I've only done one complete look with this. And I have to say it wore amazing. There was no creasing. Really, really excited about this one now. Like at first I was more excited about the sorcery, but yeah, I just, I love how good this is. And you know, we'll get into the textures and everything, but. So I think there's like four or five different formulas throughout. Um, there's a seamless matte, metallic, um, a luminous duochrome, a luminous, and a velvet. So quite a few different formulas in there. I'm going to start with French Grey, which is this shade right here. It's a velvet shade. And this is the Sonya G Fusion Builder. These velvets are almost like a cream. They're smooth, but when I was swatching them, it almost felt like some of them had a bit of a grip to them. Very, very unique texture. Now I'm taking my short-handled Bisciotto brush and I'm going into Turbulence, which is this one here, and it's a seamless matte. So let me just feel the velvet versus the seamless matte. They feel very similar. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a really nice mirror in this palette. It's very clear and it's just big enough to kind of get your whole Now I'm gonna go into that shade with the same Sonia G brush from before. Now with my finger, I'm going to go into the blue now from Sorcery. This is the shade Swan Song and it's a metallic. Taking the refer number 28. I don't know, it's a little more muted than I was expecting on the eyes. Or it's not quite as shiny. It's 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 pigmented, but it's not quite quite as shiny. But it's fine. I think I just need a little bit of a navy liner. This one is Victoria Beckham Navy Noir. Kind of messed up a little there, but should be okay in the end. Going back into that first shade, uh, French Grey, and this Chikahoto eye brush, the, the large eye brush from the Z series. Same brush. Gonna use Chic from Jones Road. I know I'm kind of cheating a bit, but I just need a bright shade like this. Back in with my Biscotto brush into that French gray. Actually, I think I have to go into the darker one, which is uh, Turbulence. With the builder from the beginning, I'm going into Lamp Black, which is another seamless matte. It's the black shade here. Okay, so I think when I messed up my liner before, and I, I, had, I had to take a tissue and kind of smudge it away, I created a little bit of darkness there. I don't know. So I think I just need to take a powder foundation. This is the Patrick Star one. I think that pretty much fixed it, but it might still be a little dark. Whatever. <laughs> might go back in with it a little more later, but. And I'm continuing to blend this now. Smoke and Mirrors, which is this metallic here. And it's kind of like a bluey, a bluey black or blue gray. There's like a blue shift in there, kind of. Now I'm gonna build Swan Song up a bit more. And then I'm gonna go into the duochrome, which is um, mercurial. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my finger, go into a little bit of this. It's um, it's like a blue with like a pinkish base. I love this kind of duochrome. And it also has a tealy shift in there as well. It's like bluey and then from another light, it's a little tealy. I wish it was more just bluey, <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. And I'm just putting a little bit of that here in a bit more, sort of in the inner portion. 
going back to this palette, I want to use uh, Supernova, which is this here. And I was kind of pleasantly surprised with this one because I feel like this one almost is a little bit bluey duochromey as well. I was like, oh, I didn't realize, but I feel like it does have like a bluish, little bluish hue in there. I was very excited about that. Um, it's super smooth. This is another luminous shade, except it's not the luminous duochrome. Um, but I still feel like it's a little duochromey. It's like a silvery, taupey, bluey. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put that in the inner, inner corner here. Like that. Oh, I love this shade. Love, love, love this shade. It's so nice. So, going back into French Grey. A little Shiseido uh, cotton pad here, and this little spatula tool that I use. And I'm just gonna use it to get some of the blue off my waterline. I wonder if I could just go like this. I could, because you could just go like this. I was being extra. I want to use the Victoria Beckham waterline pencil again. I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand. Let's kind of get it going. It's kind of mixing with, <laughs> with the blue a bit. I don't know, it's becoming like a light, a lighter color, I feel and just a, like a light blue. It's basically becoming a light blue, <laughs> which I'm fine with. Okay, back into French gray. That's the lightest taupe. And I'm just gonna do a little bit. I think that's pretty much all I wanna do for the shadow. Okay, for mascara, Lancome Lash Idol. For our lips, I love Lisa Eldridge's um, Luxurious Lucent formula, but I really want to try uh, this Dior one that I got. Um, this is in the shade, uh, what shade is this? Well, I'll have the shade that is in the description box because it's not on the bottom of the case. Um, I got that new limited edition case, it's so pretty. But it's like a nice pink like this. Feels very creamy and hydrating. It's super bright, I love. I'm gonna go on top with the Posh Gloss and Ice from Victoria Beckham. Soft Brown Legendary Brow Gel from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use the Niji Pro from Sonia G and go into Pop from Jones Road. Clay de Poe highlight here. a little buff. Gonna do a little bit of a spritz. So I think that's the finished look. Let's zoom in and then we'll go over my final thoughts. I still have to play with the rest of the colors in the Sorcery palette, but I think this blue is fine. I don't know. 
Honestly, I'm not crazy about sorcery. That's controversial. I think everyone likes sorcery, but I think Vega I like more. <laughs> I'm just gonna use it more and I don't know. I just feel like the blue, I just wish it was bluer. I just want a more blue palette overall because it's very green heavy. And Vega, I just think I'm gonna use so much. I love the textures. I mean, I like, I like the shades and I like the textures in both palettes. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I just was expecting this to be a little bit more magical given the theme for me. Just, this is very personal <laughs> because I think it's a good palette. Um, just personally, I'm gonna use this one more and I think I'm gonna get Muse as well, as soon as I can. <laughs> the Muse palette um, and possibly Cinnabar too. Yeah, if this was just, like, let me show you. We're gonna get into some comparisons. <laughs> so see this palette from Nabla. This is one of my favorite palettes of life. If, you know, there was just a, a more blue in this palette, I would like it so much more. But, but I mean, you know, there's room for that palette to come, but let me swatch some comparisons for this now. So just right off the bat, this is Lisa's here, and this is the Nabla. So you can see Nabla's is just such a, it's a true sapphire, whereas Lisa's is a little bit more subdued. Now I'm gonna swatch from Mothership One. It is a little bit richer than Lisa's, but Nabla's is still the blingiest, actually. <laughs> Here is from Milky Way, Simi Hayes Milky Way. There's that shade. And it's almost like a mix of Nabla and Lisa's because it's not quite as bright as Nabla, but it's um, um, kind of a more similar tone to Lisa's, I feel. Here's the Midnight Lid Luster from Victoria Beckham. This is much deeper than all the others. So this is actually, I feel like the closest, oh God, I hope you can see there. <laughs> I feel like this one is the closest to Lisa's, but again, it just has a little bit more sparkle, but it's more of a midnight, whereas Literally, <laughs> but it's more midnight, whereas the others lean a bit more sapphire. Now I want to go into this shade, this shade from Vega. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? I swear that. Oh my god, this isn't working. How am I? How am I gonna do this? Okay, here we go. On my hand, we have the shade from Vega, the shade from Sorcery. Then I'm gonna go into Mothership One. This one has, from Mothership One, has a much pinkier hue to it than the other two. The flip is a bit more violet as well. From, I have Fembot from Rem. It's more similar to Mothership One, but it has a bit more of a greeny flip. Still bluey though. <laughs> so there's Rem, Mothership One. Sorcery Vega. I don't know. I feel like in certain lights, I feel like in certain lights, I feel like Vega has a bit of a blue to it. Like that's the first thing I thought when I saw it, like in person is that it has a little bit of a blue sparkle. It might just be the silver in like a trick of the eye, but I swear it has a little bit of blue in there. I swear. You know what? One more comparison that I have here is the this one from Violet FR, the Blue de Minuit. <laughs> it's a liquid. So here's that one. It's another inkier, kind of inky blue. I think out of all of these more blue colors, I think the Nabla and the Pat, Pats and Nablas I think are the best, to be honest. But there is something about the texture of Lisa's. Is that the technically a velvet? It's a metallic. So even though this is a metallic finish, I feel like I do see a velvetiness to it. I don't know. It's, I feel like it's just a completely different texture than all of the other ones that I swatched. It feels a little bit different. It feels like it has like a grip or something on there. I don't know. It just. Just, it's unique still. I feel like it's holding its own, even though it's not as dazzling necessarily, it's still unique. In terms of the packaging, um, I was saw a little bit of one review. I didn't really dive too deep into watching other people's reviews, 
because, you know, I wanted my own opinion. But one thing I did hear, um, and I, you know, I've heard kind of mixed things. I feel like most people like it, but I've heard mixed things. I did see someone, though, say that they thought the packaging felt really cheap. I don't really know what they're talking about. Like, I guess, like, I don't know, like, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap to me. I feel like it has a good weight to it. I, I don't know. I, I, it feels luxurious to me. Like, it's, it's about the same weight as, like, this Tom Ford quad. But the Tom Ford's a little heavier, but I don't know. I just... I think it it's beautiful <laughs> and I think she could have charged more for it $68 doesn't seem crazy to me for the quality when I saw that person's review I was a little worried but no I, I don't feel like it it doesn't feel cheap to me it feels it feels nice it feels good quality and I I, I really like the packaging so yeah that's a relief <laughs> yeah definitely gonna pick up muse potentially cinnabar <laughs> and i'm excited to see what color story she comes out with i'm sure maybe in the spring there'll be another release i'm excited and this doer lipstick i love love the case and the color and the formula <laughs> make sure to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell to notify every single time that i upload a new video Follow my Instagram, prettier than Graham. Follow me on Nunes, so you're notified every single time I'm doing a live stream. Hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. I always say Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, goodbye.